in the previous uh, the session we have seen different functionalities of your data mining we have seen uh, about your class or concept description we have seen about your uh, mining pattern we have seen about your uh, association analysis and your classification let's move on to your further uh, functionalities those are your uh, cluster analysis correlations your uh, outliers uh, and your predictions now coming to your clustering what do you mean by a cluster cluster is nothing but small groups together is called as a cluster so now when i talk about the cluster uh, uh, the main thing i would see is i will be maximizing the intra clusters and minimize the inter clusters now you have to know what do you mean by intra and what do you mean by inter now if you all can just see the diagram here now this is the combination of what all the different raw data i have here so when i an apply an algorithm data mining algorithm to my raw data it is segregating me to all the different things the raw data is segregated into all the different things here in your raw data what do you have you have all apples you have pears and strawberries when i apply the algorithm on the raw data it is giving it is segregating what it is segregating me all apples together all the pears together and all the strawberries together so what is happening here i told you the words maximizing the intra and minimizing the inter now intra is what within now whenever i have a cluster so what i have to see i have to maximize the relationship of the same within the cluster it should not be the mixture of what two different things that is i need to see that i need to minimize the what inter level clusters now inter level is what two different for example like you can have a best example of your intra college participation and inter college participation intra is what you participate within your college whereas inter is you part you participate with the other college that is nothing but your intra and inter in brief you can just remember it like this you have a raw data with all the different things together so you apply an algorithm to it so that it gets segregated with all the small small clusters now clustering helps to split data into several subsets each of the subsets contain data similar to each other and this subsets are called as clusters the same thing the raw data with all the different items or the different things in it applying an algorithm so it is give me all small small subsets which is called as your cluster next let's move on to your evaluation and deviation analysis i can take a best example as your time series data type here when i was talking about your time series data type there i spoke about your stocks i spoke about your what your uh, weather forecast everything that comes here now evaluation analysis pretend to study of data sets that change over time that's what the data type what data type time series data type we are using here evaluation analysis model are designed to capture evaluationary trends in data helping to characterize classify cluster or discriminate time related data as i told you when i was talking about your time series data type based upon the time your data is changing I have taken an example of your what weather like now when i check it is sunny after some time if i check the climate has changed it gives me what cloudy then it rainy according to the time the predictions are changing that is nothing but your evaluation and deviation analysis next comes with your correlation analysis what do you mean by this correlation analysis correlation analysis is basically we use all the mathematical methods here now what are the mathematical methods we use here basically we use the concept like your regressions everything comes into picture in your correlation analysis correlation analysis is a statistical method used to measure the strength of the linear relationship between two variables and compute their association as i told you mathematical method mathematical statistical method is one of your mathematical method why are we using it 
to know the what linear relationship between what two different variables and their association now i have if i take the same example of your cluster here i have what apples pears and your uh, strawberries now i have different types of variables here i need to use a statistical method to perform it and know the what relationship among it and give what their association association is nothing but your relationship now next correlation analysis calculates the level of change in one variable due to the change in the other now as i told you you use regressions your regressions is nothing but you know the changes a high correlation points to a strong relationship between the two variables while a low correlation means that the variables are weakly related now what what am i telling here when my correlation is very high when i am performing a regression my uh, a uh, correlation is very high that i'll tell it as what i have a strong relationship with that variable otherwise when it has a low row correlation then i'll be telling it as what weakly related here you can take a strong relation and your weak relation the best example is if you all remember your strong entity and a weak entity it's not exa exact this thing i'm just telling you to remember it very easily strong entity and a weak entity now what do you call it as a when do you call it as a strong entity when do you call it as a weak entity when you have a primary key associated with the other relationship then you can call it as a what a strong entity when do you call it as a weak entity when there is no relationship with the first entity then you can call it as what weak entity the same thing is applicable here you can see the positive and negative correlations the last statements talks about this your last statements will talk about this now what am i telling one is my positive one is my negative whenever i have points higher it gives me the strong whenever i have low points it gives me what less next coming to your predictions prediction is what based upon your past or the previous data whatever you have based upon that you get the result or you predict the future the same thing again your same correlate example based upon my previous information like all the customers of that locality are coming and buying my colgate product in the in the shop so i have that prediction based upon that previous prediction i'll order for more number of quantity of the colgate toothpaste it can be a prediction of missing numerical values or increase or decrease trends in time related information same thing based upon the prediction i may say whether my product would be sold with a high demand in the market in the next stage or i have a low demand for my product now here you have two types of predictions one is your numeric prediction and other one is your class prediction in your numeric prediction we use the concept called as your regressions in your class predictions you take whatever the missing class information you have based on that using a training data set your uh, where, where the class or product is known now numeric predictions are made by creating a linear regression model that is based on historical data historic is nothing but the previous data whatever the data you have class predictions are used to what fill in missing class information for products using a training data set where the class for product is known now if i know the class i can know whatever the training data set i have based upon the class what is my previous information that is nothing but your prediction next you have outlier analysis here outlier analysis is nothing but your anomalies anomaly analysis you all have studied anomaly again in your dbms what do you mean by an anomaly when i have everything same only i have a small thing which is out of my table now i can take another example of your student id now student as a uh, entity i have student id student name student age as my attributes if i have a if i directly add a student salary there does it have any relation the student has any relation with the salary no now it is an anomaly which is out of information which is not related to the student information that is nothing but your anomaly so outlier analysis is also similar if you all can see i have all the green data 
data sets here only one uh, only the two red data sets are different so this two data sets are called as your what outlier analysis this is all about your functionalities of data mining i'll just tell you the different data minings we have studied one is your class or concept description your class and concept description is talks about your what overall or summary then it talks about the uh, relationship of two different uh, products or the data items next year you have your uh, uh, frequent pattern mining in that frequent frequent pattern mining you have studied about your uh, frequent item set then you have your frequent sub uh, subsequence then you have frequent sub structures then we have studied about your association association is nothing but your what your relationship we talk about relationship there then you have your classification how we are going to divide it next in today's session we have seen about your correlations what is correlation how we are going to perform correlation then we have seen about your outlier analysis then moving on we have seen about your prediction how we are going to predict it then we have seen about your evaluation and your deviation analysis this is purely based upon your time series data type then we spoke about your clustering this is all about your data mining functionalities thank you